every week so I thought it would be nice to have some Bible stories with Miss Crystal and I have a special guest back with me today this is Harmony she was so excited to join us for stories she loves any kind of Bible stories isn't that right Harmony yeah did you say hi to all the power zone kids hi she's not very talkative today but that's good because I told her she can't be talking too much because we're gonna be telling some Bible stories so I'm gonna read out of a book called For Such a Time as This, and it is by Angie Smith. It is a great book. Now, you have all heard the story of Adam and Eve. This is the story of Eve. So it's kind of like her side of the story. So that's what we're gonna reading, be reading. It's called The Garden. You ready for this, Harmony? Yep. You like Eve, don't you? Yes. Okay, well, let's talk about Eve. She was made for him, no question. Where there once was a rib in Adam's chest, there was now a scar reminding them both of the way God had made her. You see, God didn't want Adam to live all alone, so he took a part from Adam and shaped and molded it into the very first bride the world had ever known. Wow! Eve. Adam loved her in an instant. She was as much a part of him than as his very rib had been. Life together was barefoot and perfect, every moment a gift from the giver. God saw them running, jumping, laughing, and full of his breath. It was just the way God wanted it to be. They were free to live in his amazing creation and could enjoy anything around them, with one exception. God told them not to eat the fruit from one specific tree in the garden, and he warned them that if they disobeyed, there would be terrible consequences. The days spilled one into another until one afternoon Eve found herself near that tree. A voice, gentle as rain, asked her a question that would change everything. Are you sure he said you couldn't eat from this tree? Satan was clothed as a serpent living in the garden. He was eager to steal the glory of God. What better way than to persuade God's own creation to betray him? The serpent told Eve that the fruit would make her wise. And as her eyes followed the striking outline of the branches, she could think of nothing else but tasting that fruit. Why wouldn't God want her to be wise? Fingers cupped around the fruit, she pressed her lips to the curse of death. It was sweet for a moment, as rebellion often is. Adam ate the fruit as well, and they both knew right away that they had made a terrible choice. As the wind rustled the leaves, they tried to cover themselves out of shame. For the first time, they understood how scary it was to disobey such a powerful God. Can you imagine? One moment, one decision, it changed everything, and there was no going back now. God sent Adam and Eve out of the place that had always been home. As they wandered far from the garden, I wonder if they could hear the anguish in God's voice. This wasn't what I wanted for you. Her mistake was too big to be fixed by human hands. But many years later, another man would be wounded for her, and for all those who believed in him. If God had wanted to, he could have separated himself from them and us forever, but he didn't. Even as he sent Adam and Eve away, God knew that one day he would make a way to bring them back to him. You can find the story of Adam and Eve in Genesis 3 in the Bible. Now, God is the highest ruler of all harmony. And nothing, nothing can happen unless he allows it. Do you think it hurt him that they disobeyed him? You don't have much to say. Do you think so, Harmony? Yeah. Yeah, it did hurt him. That's kind of a sad story, huh, when you think about it? Yeah. But sin is an action, or it's a thought, or it's a decision 
that goes against God. And every once in a while, we all sin. But we got to remember that God has a plan that we can't see. And even though it wasn't what he wanted for Eve to sin like that, he wanted what's best for us. He knew. He allowed it to happen because he knows the whole story. That's a good story, isn't it? Yep. I liked it. Yeah. God is a good God, and he'll take care of us no matter what. Amen. Amen. All right. Good job. All right. Well, guys and gals, thanks so much for watching. See you later.